All right, so welcome to another video and episode. Today, we're going to take a look at Shopify. It continues to surprise us and it's going to go ahead and do a 10 for one stock split probably soon we're going to go ahead and check out some of the charts and uh, as we do that keep in mind it's not a recommendation uh, for any of the trades i'm just giving you some insight uh, definitely check out our website uh, if you want to go to tradersfly.com you can check out some of the upcoming classes we have like market seasons there's a lot of stuff also on options that we'll have uh, coming soon and this uh, course right here swing trading full circle really good for uh, technical analysis if you want to get into that and you can also join the discord group as well uh, where I chat and post some of the uh, charts right here uh, the link is going to be in the description right down below um, and you can also ask some questions all right let's review uh, Shopify here real quick uh, just based on the news you can see they're planning kind of a, a 10 for one stock split uh, to protect, I guess, CEO votings. But in either case, right now, the stock's around $500 uh, a share or so for making numbers easy. So if they do a 10 for one stock split, the stock split's going to be uh, a lot cheaper and it'll be, you know, around the $50 price point. So that could be a little bit more of a problem. Um, but oftentimes after things um, split, um, you know, you it's it, it pu pushes that stock a bit higher because now people can afford it a little bit more. I think that'll be nice for Shopify because there's not a lot of shares out there. So it kind of really is an inflated price. It's similar to kind of a a Amazon. Like if you go ahead and, and check out, um, uh, sorry, AutoZone, um, you look at AutoZone, it's $2,200 CMG, very similar, you know, it's, it's way up there. So when you look at Shopify, it's fairly inflated. So you're looking at $600 price point right now. Um, really, let's just call it 500 and you can do a 10 for one split. So you get 10 shares for every one that you have. Um, you know, you'll the stock price, let's say it'll go down to about $50 a share but you'll have twice as many share or 10 times as many shares. So you'll have a, a lot more shares. Now, what's fascinating about this is as we look at the charts and what I want to pinpoint is look at this. This is kind of like a reverse head and shoulders, possibly uh, pattern right here. So this could start looking to make its way kind of to that upside here soon. And uh, the stock split, you know, could push and drive things higher. I mean, it's just kind of released today. Uh, we're at around 600 anyway. So that's a psychological nice round number. So I wouldn't say that it's just a stock split itself that's pushing the stock higher it could just be that hey 600 is a nice sweet spot uh just look at the technicals right here as well it's just lining up very perfectly and precisely i don't know if they timed it perfectly for that announcement uh but you're right at 600 anyway so that could be just uh timed well and the point that the stock now is rising and then saying it's because the stock split that it's rising so uh anyway whether that's the case or not it doesn't really matter uh the point is is that what we're doing here is we're creating a couple of rounding areas here on the stock and we're starting to kind of look at this um rounding base or zone 500 was a bit of a sell-off at a major critical point and now we're starting to see a little bit of a bounce around that 600 area that is trying to press into those higher prices i will say that when you really look at this stock on a longer term basis you could see here this thing boom 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 and then this thing broke through this level so when you look at this lower level uh, this stock is kind of coming back into a nice more reasonable uh, area of valuation if you're more from a longer term uh, investment perspective uh, you know we got into those highs near the 2000s so you could see we've got a huge haircut uh, that just happened uh, so going in from over here about $1,700 to about right now, we're down about 66%. So that's huge uh, from an investment standpoint. So now if we're kind of just evaluating where we are in, on the charts, we've got the swing point here, which comes in to right in that zone. And this is where this support could kind of be. Now, if we've got a stock split and that kind can push that stock a bit higher, you know, you could start doing kind of one of these numbers to start getting into that zone or kind of like, hey, come back, retest, and then maybe go higher. So I'd look at 500 as nice, solid support. So if this drops back down as a stock split, this will be kind of around $50 a share then. I'll call it, you know, somewhere around that zone. And that's what I would kind of be looking at. The chart itself, they'll kind of readjust it or rebalance it, kind of recalibrate it back out uh, to make sure all oh, the chart looks uh, proper. Um, but, you know, some of these levels that you'll, you'll probably want to watch is definitely somewhere around this $300 level which could be 30 at that point, uh, just depending on when and, and how it splits, if it does a 10 for one, and then if it splits, and depending on if it's 600, 500, $800 a share at the time of the split, um, and then that's kind of what you're watching is you still have these support levels that people will still be at or looking at, especially the technicals, um, because it's also where people will make or lose money as well, right? So 500 is another key point. So those are kind of the key levels right there. 
Uh, if you get into that thousand dollar level, I would definitely take some profits because you're going to get some resistance in that zone. You've got a lot of action in that area uh, from that stock right there. You could see thousand dollar problem, five hundred dollar support, you know, and three hundred right here as you look into it another kind of support level so those are kind of the things i'd be watching in this stock as we continue to kind of just whip around a little bit and even though today it's trying to hold some of those price levels i don't think it's really just because of the stock split you know it's just kind of holding slightly based on technicals and maybe some of the news has given it a little jolt um but overall you know the stock is acting weak i would watch out there are some earnings just around the corner and so be mindful of that and um you know i would either wait until those earnings are released or trade very cautiously into the earnings if you want to hold it through earnings because uh, these things can move you know easily a good 100 points uh, on a stock like this uh, through earnings so just be mindful of, of what's going on here and, um, and and be a little more careful with the market being a little bit uh, weak and we've got you know a lot of weakness here coming in after these two weeks of upside now we've got a little bit of this downside could we power higher sure but we are getting this pullback right now and uh, just continues to act weak here with uh, market being a little bit more scared here of what's going on and happening uh, in the world, uh, interest rates, that kind of thing. And uh, so you definitely want to be a little bit more careful and cautious. All right. So thanks so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to grab some freebies off the website. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and I will see you on the next video update.